Hey. Joey, hello. So I'm walking down the street and I see this chair that the previous owner thinks it's trash, but I see a diamond in the rough. It's so cool and I really want to do something with it, but I can't carry it. Can you come pick me up? Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Oh, I'll drop by for a while. Mr. Kate. I'll help you find your style. Mr. Kate. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! Hey. What are you doing? I found this. Look. I'm gonna do something funky with it. So Kate has this chair that someone's throwing away that she found on the side of the road and we're gonna take it and give it a new life. Wow, it's pretty beat up. I don't really know what I wanna do yet, but let's take it. Okay, cool. I wanna do a statement chair. It's a chair that is a statement conversation piece. Do I have carpet fiber on my butt? No, you're good. Ah! Project statement chair has commenced. We'll paint it, we'll yeah. reupholster it. Yeah. Well, you know how I like to use juxtapositions and things, right? So glossy and, <gasps> wait, stop! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have an idea for the chair. So Kate sees this giant branch on the side of the road and makes me stop the car. Because I can add the sort of natural elements with the color. Okay, well, hold on. Let me, I'll get out of the car and help you get it. So Kate's pulling this giant branch, <laughs> like we could somehow fit this in the car. I have a toolkit, I'll get a saw. I think it would look so cool to use those sticks as spindles for the back of the chair so that there's that juxtaposition, which I love to do in any designs that I'm doing. I want like these little pieces, the little knobs. I think we can fit that in the car. All right, Joey and I are at the hardware store. Now we need our spray paint color, which I am choosing an emerald green. You want it to be real wood and green? It's gonna look like a Christmas tree. No, we got our polyurethane clear coat, which we're gonna use to paint the stick because that's what's gonna seal them, kind of get rid of any little critters that are living inside them. Black, white, green, and brown. Joey, trust. Joey thinks I'm crazy. I'll trust you. For this DIY project, we're gonna need a saw, glasses, and a mask. Sandpaper measuring tape, electric sander. We need to totally take all of the fabric off. There's a lot of staples from the original reupholstering that we're gonna have to ply her out. Like, what size stick are you thinking? I'm thinking like that size is cool. Yeah, this I love, and I love the little knobbies. Now I'm off to the fabric store. I'm going to Mood Fabrics, which I love. They have so many beautiful fabrics. And I'm on the hunt for a statement pattern fabric that's gonna just be a pop of pattern against those sticks and against my emerald green. <gasps> it's a cow. Hey. <gasps> oh, it's a skeleton of a chair. We have the whole chair sanded. So now I'm measuring the back of the chair. We're gonna take these branches. I'm gonna saw them down into the right sizes so that they fit. I feel like maybe they need to be a little more asymmetrical. Yeah, it's like a forest. If we're using sticks, it should look sticky. I have the branches glued into place. My job is pretty much done. Reupholstering cushions is actually pretty easy. I am taking off the old fabric, which is kind of grimy and gross. All I'm using is a staple gun, some scissors, and of course my fabric. You wanna wrap the cushion like a present. You wanna lay it down on your fabric face down and then start from opposite edges so you make sure to get a clean and tight fit. Now that I've gotten all the edges of my cushion stapled down, I'm gonna concentrate on the corners. You just wanna make purposeful pleats and staple as you go and make sure that you do mirror images on both of your corners. So now I'm just gonna trim. Ta-da! I'm moving on to spray painting the chair. Now I'm using my glossy, beautiful emerald green spray paint and it's totally transforming it. Now Joey and I are screwing the cushion back onto the chair. It looks so good next to the green. And our chair is done! Hold up! It needs something. I tried to use twine to fill in that groove where the old cushion was, but instead I'm gonna use this brass chain applied with a glue gun and it's perfect and blingy. Love it. All right, cue the real reveal.
everything mismatches, but it works perfectly. I'm so happy with how it looks.